Today, we are going to show you how to install a Garmin G-Win wired wind transducer. For this video, you will need the G-Win transducer, the 25 meter Nexus mast cable, a GND10, a Garmin display, the included mounting hardware, and an existing NEMA 2000 network. If you do not have a NEMA 2000 network, please reference your installation manual or contact a certified installer. First, we are going to install the propeller. Line the socket on the propeller up with the shaft. And press until it is fully seated. Once seated, use the set screw to secure the propeller to the shaft. Before installation, it is recommended to connect all loose devices and spin the G-Win transducer to make sure data is properly flowing over the network. Now you will select the mounting location for the transducer. It should be mounted horizontally on the mast head with the propeller leading forward and be in line with the center line of the boat. If there is not a horizontal surface on the mast head, an appropriate shim must be added to create a horizontal surface. Next, using the mounting bracket as a template, mark the pilot hole locations, then drill the holes. Fasten the mount to the mounting surface. Now secure the transducer in the mounting bracket. Loosen the lock nut on the end of the mounting pole. Place the pole in the bracket. Push down and slide it back until it stops. Retighten the locking nut. Make sure not to over tighten as it can damage the pole. Then secure it with the security clamp with the wire leading towards the back of the boat. Next connect the included 25 meter mast cable to the wind transducer with the pre-installed connector. Then snake the bare end of the cable down through the mast. Once the cable has been run down the mast, use the Nexus Field installable connector kit to install a connector on the bare end of the wire. You may want to add an additional set of connectors at the base of your mast for easier mast removal in the future. Disassemble the field installable connector and place the pressing screw, pinch ring, seal, and sleeve on the cable. First, leaving an appropriate amount of slack, cut the bare end of the wire and remove about 5 eighths of an inch of the casing. Now, strip each wire back approximately 1 eighth of an inch to insert into the connector. Using the screws on the back of the connector, connect each wire to the appropriate terminal. Start by putting the green wire in position 1, then the yellow wire in position 2, the bare wire in position 3, and the white wire in position 4. Once all are installed, there should be no bare wire visible in the connector. Once the wires are connected, slide the sleeve down and screw it onto the connector. Slide the seal into the sleeve and slide the pinch ring over the seal. Screw the pressing screw into the sleeve to complete the assembly of the field installable connector. Once the connector has been installed, Plug it into either Nexus port on the GND10. Depending on your specific boat, 
This connection may have to be made after the mast is put up. You will also plug the NEMA 2000 drop cable from your existing NEMA 2000 network into the NEMA 2000 port on your GND10. And that's it. For more help, visit support.garmin.com.